Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be breaking down how much money I made in September and what my business looks like. You guys have been following along with my journey for a long time now. I've been putting out YouTube videos for almost five years. <laughs> five years of seeing my ups and downs and what that looks like in my business. If you're brand new here, I'm a full-time reseller. So I buy secondhand clothing and I sell it primarily on a site called Poshmark. Um, since I've started, I also have grown into teaching other people how to sell on Poshmark. And my numbers are diverse at this point. They are very diverse. I'm excited to go over them with you guys. There's a lot of feelings that resonate with these numbers. And um, I'm going to talk about the last three months and what they've looked like in my business. I try to always be as transparent as possible. So these are my gross figures. So this is before taxable income. This is before I pay myself. This is before cost of goods. All of that gets pretty complicated. Um, and that's what my accountant is for. But I can share with you my gross numbers and then an average of what my overhead looks like. Obviously, it's not 100% dead on what my overhead looks like because I still don't know what my tax bill is at this very second, right? Like, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to be transparent. There's always going to be people who say I'm not transparent, but here we are. I really am doing my best. So let's dive into how I make money and what it looks like for me. Um, these numbers are really crazy and they're numbers that I never thought that I would ever get to in my life. I run this business 100% from my house and I do it while I have my children home with me. Um, my husband works nights so there's a lot going on in my life but I've done it. I've grown. This is where I'm at. I have a lot of growth that I want to do still and I'll talk about that as well. So okay in September my total gross for all of my business combined was $21,111. $21,000 is what I brought in last month between all of my businesses. So I'll break that down for you guys. Obviously that's not what I paid myself by any means. Most of that goes right back into the business, but that's pretty good for a woman working from home doing her best. <laughs> um, okay, so first and foremost, the platform I made the most money on was Poshmark. So Poshmark brought in $6,748. I sold 206 items. I want to break that down a little bit more. I know there's a lot of numbers in this video, so hold tight with me. I should have done some visuals, but that's besides the point. Um, okay, so with that, my number one selling category was actually shoes. So this was last month in September shoes. I sold 2000, almost $2,500 worth of just shoes. And that um, was $700 in just Sorrel boots. <laughs> so it is boot season, get them listed. In all fairness, I listed more shoes than in any other category. So of course I'm gonna sell more in that category. It just makes sense. So there we go. Uh, my average sell price on Poshmark was $32.98, so almost $33. That's fantastic. So that's my number one source of income last month. Um, second up to that was actually ThreadUp. I had sent in a lot of product over the last few months. This is the first month that I saw a payout from that. And my payout from ThreadUp totaled $4,989. I don't have the total number of items. I didn't write that down here, but so right around 5,000 is what I earned from Thread Up last month. That's fantastic. I'm not mad at that. That is just me putting things into boxes and sending them out. I think I sent around 30 box. I have, whew, how many active boxes do I have right now? I have around 30 active boxes right now and that will continue to grow. Um, I have multiple on their way. So Thread Up has become a big part of my business. Um, the next one that was the most profitable, I'm kind of going in order here, was my Teachable. So I have an online course on how to sell on Poshmark. Um, and last month that brought in $4,000. So that's a great passive income at this point. I recorded and released the course a couple months ago, or wait, I released last, the month before? When did I actually release it? My dates are getting all mixed up right now. Anyway, 
I recorded this a few months ago. So this is all passive income to me at this point, which is fantastic. I have to have some sort of passive income. Um, the next thing that brought the most revenue in was YouTube actually. So I do get paid on YouTube. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you're helping me out. Thank you so much. I appreciate that like way more than I can ever put into words. Um, my YouTube payout was very low last month. This is not an average payout for me, but I only put up a couple of videos last month and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. I'm gonna talk about my numbers here in a second and what impacted them. So this is a very low YouTube month for me. Um, it was $2,214. Uh, next up from there would be my Selwood Union booth. So I have a booth where I sell secondhand clothing inside of a little, imagine an antique mall, but it's all clothing. So I have a booth there in Selwood, Oregon, or Selwood, which is in Portland, Oregon. Um, and that booth made me approximately $1,500. I'm still waiting on the last payout number from the last two weeks, but I have a, a average that... I have a good, I don't know the exact number, I know close to it, I'm waiting for the payout to hit my bank. My point is, it did about $1,500 in sales. Um, and then lastly is, uh, well I guess this did a little bit more, my affiliate marketing links. So my Amazon link, if um, any sort of affiliate link that I provide, that paid out $1,660. So, not bad, so from those, six incomes, my business grossed $21,111, which is crazy. Like I still, I look at that number and I'm just like, wow, that is so fantastic. But then you guys, last month was a interesting month for me. So last month I hired on a full-time like videographer, graphic design, creative. I'm calling her my creative director. I hired on a creative for my brand and my business because I have some things in the works that are going to need that. She's also creating all of my YouTube videos for me now. Um, so you'll see some fancier thrift with me videos, all of that good stuff. So I hired her on. She's doing a fantastic job. But because of that, I spent a lot of time working with her, training her, kind of developing what we needed together. And and that means I didn't put up as many YouTube videos. I didn't put up as many listings. When you have a new hire like that, you're pouring a ton of time and energy. You're not gonna profit off of that hire for a few months. So for me, I know that my numbers were lower than they have been. And that is based on the fact that I had this new hire. Um, and this is a big pivoting point for me not pivoting, that's not the right word, but it's a big move in my business to go forward, go up. And so I spent, and I'll continue to spend over the next couple months, a lot of time working with her. So I'm all right with these numbers for right now. They're sustainable, they're okay. Um, now, obviously I can estimate what my net profit was off of this. So I would say my net profit was around $15,000. I still didn't pay myself that much money, you guys. A lot of that gets reinvested back into the business long term. Um, so I would say that it's about $1,500 after overhead is what I actually brought home, the business brought home, essentially. Um, so my cost of goods is very low. I still pay an average of around $3 an item. So even Poshmark, I sold $6,748. After their fees, it was $5,200. And then for me, it was 200 items, $3 an item, that's $600. So, you know, that's still $4,600 or wait, what about, yeah, $4,600 is what I made on Poshmark. Um, so I don't have, my businesses actually don't have a ton of overhead in the way that I run them. I run them very slim. I don't have a lot of overhead. My biggest overhead at this point is now just Amanda my video creative director. So after that, like I don't have overhead for my Teachable. I don't have overhead for YouTube. I don't have overhead for affiliate marketing. Um, those are all things that don't cost me anything to do except my time. And my time is valuable. So, you know, that's another thing. But um, anyway, so I would guess that my net is around 15,000 or 15,000 from that. I want to talk about very briefly and very quickly because I haven't talked about my numbers with you guys in a while. Um, 
first off, like, I'll never forget where I came from. And five years ago, almost to the date, October 1st was my first, 2015, I believe, was my first day being a full-time reseller. I'd left my job, I went full-time. And at that time, things were really rough. My son, who has autism, was having a hard time in school. So we left. I left my job without a backup plan, really. I knew that I could resell full-time and make it work. But it was still a very rough transition. So I've worked incredibly hard to get here. I've had some major failures, which you guys have watched throughout the years. And it feels really good. We're really on track to do around 350000 in gross um, for the businesses by the end of the year. And that is just an incredible feeling. Like I can't, I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I've gotten here. And it's all based off of selling secondhand clothing. Yes, I've branched into social media from that. But again, it's all from that base level. I'm still a reseller. I still take photos. I still list items. I still do all that work. And I don't intend to change that. It's still my core business is reselling. I love it. It's what I want to do. And it's what I'm going to continue to do. Um, I want to talk about July and August very quickly. I'm going to try and wrap this video up before the 15 minute mark, you guys. I know hearing about numbers for a long period of time can be boring, but let's get through this. So um, August... I did $30,000 in gross revenue for all of my businesses. And in July, July was a crazy month. I did $80,000 in revenue for my businesses. Now, in July, I sold $37,000 worth of my course. It's when I launched it. That was the big, you know, it's always feast or famine with that sort of thing. So $37,000 was from the course. So that's... Um, after all is, wait, no, I wrote, that's not, it's a five. I read that as an eight. Blah, 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 blah. Ignore that. I did 50. Eight. Okay. In July, I did $50,000 in gross revenue. 37 of that being from the course. All my other numbers were also low that month because I was 100% focused on getting that course up, but still 30 or er, 37,000 from a course is just mind blowing to me. So, and then August, so the month before September, um, we did 30,000 in gross revenue. Um, 15,000 of that was from the course. 8,000 was from Poshmark. Uh, 2,000 was from Selwood Union. We did 3,000 was from YouTube, 2,000 from affiliates. So these three months have been odd months. And so I'm excited to kind of get back into a flow. Obviously that July month is very abnormal to do 50,000. Um, the 30,000 is a mark that I think I can hit pretty consistently moving forward. And that's kind of the goal to do. But we've had our ups and downs and it's been a an interesting year for me. Um, I don't know what to say because I know so many people are hurting and having a hard time right now. And I debated about like, do I want to make this video or do I not want to make this video? I'm basically making a video saying I did $100,000 in gross revenue in three months. Um, but I'm making this video because it's so important to know that there's still options out there. There's still options out there. If you're struggling and you're wondering what to do next, know that there are options, right? You could start reselling today. And yes, it might take you five years to get where I am, but you have five years. You have that time. Use it, right? No way could I have imagined these numbers in my first year of doing business. I wouldn't have even thought it was possible. But here we are. Here we are, five years, five long, hard, incredibly tough years later. And I can say that I did 100000 in revenue in three months. And I know that everyone out there can do this. I'm not special. Like, I don't have a college degree. I you know what I have? I have determination to give my children a better life than I had. I grew up incredibly poor. I graduated, my highest level of education is a little bit of 11th grade. I quit or I got my diploma right like the two months into 11th grade I tested out of high school. I don't have a business degree. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing my best and I'm motivated to give my children that life I never had. 
I didn't have a dad. My mom was a drug addict. You guys probably know my story. Um, I just want you to know that it's possible. And that's why I share these things with you. I'm not sharing them to brag. I'm not sharing them to be like, hey, look what I did. Look at this shiny, fancy thing. I'm sharing them so that you know a poor girl from the hills can do this and you can too, right? I was a single mom. When I had my son, it was just me and him for the first couple of years until I met my husband. But I promised him that I would give him the life he deserves. And that's where this comes from. This comes from pure grit and determination and tenacity and knowing that I can do it no matter what I'm faced again up against. And you can too. I truly believe that in my like heart that anyone can do this and anyone can get where I am because I'm not special. Like I really am not. I'm just a mom who wants better for her children. So anyway, that's my story. That's why I'm at in my business. It's been a while since I checked in and gave you guys some numbers. So I wanted to sit down and do that. If you guys like that, let me know. Um, maybe I'll make monthly update videos to let you know where I'm at. Again, I try and be transparent. These numbers are real. Um, I've posted plenty of screenshots on Instagram to show you that these numbers are real. And I'm open to any questions that you may have. I'm an open book. I don't have anything to hide. I want you to be successful. I want to encourage you and inspire you to also take control of your life and do what needs to be done so that you can have numbers like this too one day. Anyway, have a great day, you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.